There once lived a boy with a rainbow heart. He lived in the town of Gray. And as he grew up, everything the boy touched became filled with rainbow arrays. Hi, I'm Will, and I'm the author and creator of the new LGBTQ children's book, The Boy with the Rainbow Heart. I created The Boy with the Rainbow Heart uh, because as a former school social worker intern for over two years, I realized that there was a lack of diverse children's books available with LGBTQ themes. That coupled with the fact that my sister uh, is gay and she came out as a teenager and you know, seeing what she went through in school, um, seeing how she was treated in society, in school, with, even with our family, um, you know, it, really, it really was a motivator to create the project. When we were writing uh, The Boy with the Rainbow Heart, um, I wanted to make sure that we incorporated both the LGBTQ community as well as the you know, straight community. And I wanted to make sure that we got great input on both sides and they were behind the book and that the book made sense for really everyone. And so um, we spent a day in New York City um, talking to both sides of the spectrum and we got their input on the book and I hope you enjoy their feedback and what they had to say on the issues that the book addresses. Yeah. Um, the different characters that you read about and the different stories you hear about, it's uh, what you see yourself in growing up. It decides who you are and who you want to become. And people who don't get to see themselves and what they're reading growing up, I think it, it's, it's a, it puts them at a disadvantage. I think it's important for children to read diverse literature at school because it means they get a wider world vision and they're able to understand the differences in people from a very young age. Uh, I think as soon as, as kids are learning and reading, it's exactly the right time to, to get them involved by talking about different and diverse literature just like LGBTQ issues. Messages of acceptance that you can give kids in schools are really anything from it's okay however you are to it's okay how everyone else is. Everyone can be different and their difference counts and the difference is what makes them separate and what's going to make them achieve more than anyone else at school. And so The, the Boy with the Rainbow Heart is a story about love and acceptance um, for all people. I think it's super important that children in schools today receive this sort of diverse acceptance. Um, it means the world to a lot of people, especially the LGBTQ community, but it, it really means the world to, to kids. And I, I hope that you'll either share this video or you'll support the campaign at some level uh, to get this message of love and acceptance for everyone out there, um, especially for the kids. And for any child or any teenager or whoever you are that's watching um, that associates with the LGBTQ community, just know that you have an advocate in me, you have an advocate in The Boy with the Rainbow Heart, and there are so many people out there that love you and that are with you. So thank you so much uh, for your support, and uh, I appreciate it. I'm John, and I support The Boy with the Rainbow Heart. I'm Rob, and I support The Boy with the Rainbow Heart. Hey, I'm Miguel, and I support The Boy with the Rainbow Heart. My name is Jack, and I support The Boy with the Rainbow Heart. My name is Peja, and I support The Boy with the Rainbow Heart. The boy's love for all people changed their hearts for good, and the town of Grace people soon understood that once a heart has true love, it doesn't matter its shine. A heart is always perfect, as long as it's kind.